Right, we're continuing the issue series. This one's entitled Out of the Dark. We're in First Thessalonians chapter 5, and this is verses 1 through 11. Here it's when Paul said, you know, to watch out for the day of Christ's return will come like a thief in the night. Now that warning is really for those who are in the dark. Because in this passage, it says, it's nothing we have to be really concerned about. We who are now in the light do not have to be concerned with his return. We, ha we don't have to be caught up in what's going to happen. We need to be caught up in what God is doing now. God wants us to be obedient. He doesn't want us just to kind of sit and wait till that day comes. He wants us to be actively involved with what he's doing today. God is at work. The people in the world, they have problems and they escape from their problems. They try to remain in the dark. Some people don't want to wake up because they're facing so much each and every day. But we who are in the light, we know our problem solver is God. And we don't have to escape anymore. We don't have to wait for heaven, for glory. We can experience God's power today. And so... Um, I encourage you, you know, to remain in the light. See, light affects darkness. Darkness should not affect light. The only way we can go into the dark now that we're in the light is if we choose to turn the light switch off. And that's a choice. We should not be deceived. We've lived in the dark before. We know how bad it is. We used to be those who used to get drunk, get wasted, Waste our life away with eternity completely out of our mind. Not on our mind at all. We were just living for the moment, living for the temporary. We already know where our eternity is. And now we have God in our life. We know every care, every concern, every issue is in his hands. He will take care of us so we don't have to turn to the dark. We don't have to turn to alcohol. We don't have to turn to drugs. We don't have to turn to anything but Christ. Christ is our answer. And so now we can just choose to continue to remain alert though, aware, sober-minded as it says here, and, and, and being diligent with our time and making the most of it. So thank God for the light. Thank God about being in the light. Thank God for not being a deceived. Remember how deceived we once were? So deceived. We used to think such, you know, joke around about our la latest crazy thing we did when we were wasted and drunk. I'm thankful that I'm not there anymore. I love my life. I love the light. And I love what God is doing in my life and what God's doing through my life. So my job now is to help those who are discouraged because it's not easy when you're in the world, though we're the light, it's easy for that light switch to get turned off by others because of their darkness. We allow it instead of our atmosphere, atmosphere to affect us. And so we need to encourage each other. That's why fellowship is so important. Confidence and support go hand in hand. So if we're going to remain confident in the Lord, if we're going to remain strong in Him, if we're going to remain in the light, we got to have a strong support system. we got to stay connected to other believers, especially other believers who are doing better than we are, so they can help pull us forward and keep us alert and keep us aware and help us not to fall back into deception. So I encourage you, get more committed to your local church. Be more active. Find a community of believers that are full of faith and get charged up through them. If you're isolated, you will find yourself back in darkness. It's so easy. But if you got a strong support system, it don't matter what darkness you face, don't matter where you work, who's around you, you're going to affect them for the good. They're not going to affect you. So get your support system stronger. Hope this word encouraged you, whatever issues you're facing, God is able. Nothing is impossible with him. God bless you and uh, look forward to next time. Have a great day in Jesus' name.